Welcome to Discover Talent Presents, folks. In this series, what we want to cover, suppose we have a bank statement like this. We can pick a values like this, okay? There are 5,000 available, 1,200, 300, so and so forth, okay? These are the values available in my bank statement, and I want these values to be shown in the amount section. Okay, usually what we do, we just copy this, okay? And paste it like this, and then simply copy this again, and then paste it like this and if in case we don't need this white space we just do a right click over here or maybe from our keyboard just do a control minus okay and it's a very time consuming task instead of this let's quickly follow this new formula get these values we can simply use regex extract formula in ms excel it's a very simple task to do okay before we begin let's quickly remove this white space first okay simply select this entirely like this and then press ctrl g from your keyboard okay and then simply click on this blank option okay as soon as you click on this blank option you will get a selection here like this simply press ctrl and then minus option okay entire row and then hit okay you can see those space has been removed automatically it will save you a lot of time cool now let's quickly use this function right x extract okay you can see at the top, you know, this formula has been shown over here. I'll simply select this particular text and then I'll type is equal to and then this bracket over here. Okay. Here I will simply say 0 minus 0 dash 9. Again, bracket close. Plus sign over here. Double noted comma. Okay. Once it is done, just ensure that you are closing this particular formula. Good. Once it is done, what you have to do, simply hit a enter button. Okay, you will get a value then and then. Now, once it is available, just do a control D over there. Now you can see how beautifully at one simple click, we have added a value in there. Okay, once again, if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe us. Thanks for watching. Have a great day ahead.